All right, guys, spoiler alert. If you don't want to see this, turn your heads, because uh, this is the house. The videos will catch up, but I just kind of wanted to show you something, because it is raining right now, and I've got a water system hooked up. So that was a huge uh, thing for me, because um, one of the biggest things with being off grid for me and one of the most exciting things was to be off grid with water and to collect our own rainwater uh, for all our water usage because it's free, it falls from the sky, so why not collect it? So anyways, I mean, you can see behind me, I mean, this is the inside of the house. I'll give you a better tour later. Um, there's also gonna be videos of me putting all this together. Uh, don't think I filmed much of the, the windows, but maybe I did. So anyways, I mean, you can see it. It's pretty awesome, so I'll catch you up though, don't worry. So we're gonna check this water out, and then we're gonna talk about Jesus. All right, it's been raining. Um, actually, I got this done, and I sat next to the cisterns, and I just got on my hands and knees, and uh, and I prayed to God. I just prayed. I said, God, please just fill these cisterns up because this is our water uh, for my family. So I didn't want to go into a drought as soon as we move in and and not have any water. And uh, the next day they announced there's a tropical storm in the Gulf and that was about three days ago and now it's up here and it's headed straight uh, to where we're living so which is awesome so it is filling up the cisterns I think in two days uh, we've captured uh, almost 1500 gallons which is awesome uh, just in two days and it's just been constant rain it hasn't been huge storms but uh, just constant rain so, uh, I mean, God works miracles. He still works miracles. It's still the same as it is, as it was in the Bible. He still does that thing, those things. And I think he's even doing them even more now uh, in the end times, in the days that we're living in right now. I think he's performing even more amazing miracles. It's uh, Acts 2.17. He's pouring his spirit out on his people, out on uh, all flesh. And you can tell that all flesh, everyone, uh, throughout the whole earth is seeking for truth. They're, they have this spirit of desire for truth within them. And people of the world are looking for it in all different kinds of places. Um, but if you believe in God, you're looking for truth uh, from Him. And uh, so anyways, that's what's important. But anyways, there's my sisters right there. I don't think I've ever done a video of this. Um, I'll show, I, I did do a video when I first got it installed, when I first brought them here. Um, I uh, had to dig them down a little bit. It was about 20 degrees outside and it was snowing and this is heavy. I mean, these things, they're probably about 500 pounds each. I would say probably heavier than that. I'm sorry, they're way heavier than that. Uh, but you can roll them around. So it doesn't feel that heavy, but it is, they're super heavy. So having to dig them down, they're each 2,500 gallons. So we have 5,000 gallons uh, of water catchment. So a, uh, a basic rule, um, you can find this uh, anywhere on the internet some research about uh, water catchment and rainwater uh, harvesting every 1,000 square foot of catchment surface you can expect to get 600 gallons per inch of rain so here where we live we get um, roughly about four uh, to five inches per rain a month um, so and we have about we have about 1100 square feet of catchment surface right now we'll have more in the future but right now that's what we have so we can at the low end we can expect 600 uh, gallons per inch of rain so we average four gallons a month that's 2400 gallons uh, a month that we we can expect to catch but we should be able to capture uh, exactly what we kind of need um, but uh, I do have 5,000 gallons and once I get the roof on this porch right here here, I'll give you a better look so you can see it all right here. Once I get the roof right there, uh, I can catch a little bit more rainwater. If you have any questions or comments, uh, post them down low. I, I mean, I'm, I'm curious about this. This is uh, very interesting to me, and uh, and I love I love kind of figuring out. So I kind of did a, a unique system. I, I hadn't really seen it done. I've seen other people kind of do similar things, but this was a little unique. So I want to do uh, filming, kind of show you what I did. So guys, this will probably be um, with the water system. It'll probably be a four-part series. I got some other things I want to do with the catchment surface and uh, just a lot of other things. I didn't film myself doing this. Um, it's kind of been stressful <laughs> trying to figure all this out, and I don't want to add the stress by filming it. But anyways, um, this is the system I got right now. Um, if you'll see right back, let me get my hand right. 
right back here, right there, that's where it comes down. I put the gutters in myself. Uh, they come down here, and I've got a leaf catcher right there, and that just will filter out any leaves. It's also got a mosquito protectant to keep the mosquitoes out and bugs out. Uh, this is a wet pipe system, so there's water constantly in the pipe. So there's no pumps or anything, it just works off of gravity. This is higher, this right here where the water comes in is higher than these tanks. So because it's higher, the water gets pushed all the way up, up the tube and into the tank. And it co comes down this pipe and then it comes up here. Now I do have, I don't know if you can see it, I do have a pipe underneath and this is just for if I want to drain the water from the wet pipe system. Um, I might want to drain it if it's going to be, if we get a rain and it's going to be 10 degrees one night, you know, or, or you know, for a week or so, because I don't want it to freeze. So I can drain the system full of water, the wet pipe system, that's water. Um, also, because the drain is on the bottom, uh, it helps as almost like a um, like a rain diverter, like a first catchment system uh, to catch any kind of debris or, or anything else that doesn't that makes it through the leaf catcher. Uh, so some of the, the bugs and little things and, and silt and stuff like that that gets on the roof uh, will actually go down this little catcher. Uh, since it has rained, it should be full of water because it's a wet pipe system. So you can see it. Let me, uh, let me show you how the water goes in. Now this tea goes to either this cistern or this cistern. Uh, the reason I did this is because, um, say I wanted to clean this tank or uh, this tank had a leak or something or one of the tanks had a leak, um, I can divert all the water to one tank. Um, I can also pump it with a sump pump uh, to a different tank or, one, or this tank and clean and totally get this one blocked off. There's a million ways to do this, and uh, I've seen a lot of people do it different ways. Uh, but this is just the one that I did. So anyways, uh, that's the water system. Um, I'll actually do a video, another video, which will be tied to this, uh, of putting the pump in. And, uh, you know, when we get the pump um, put in, it'll be kind of interesting to see how everything works. Uh, right now, I'm working on the pecs inside and getting that installed and everything. and, and uh, getting it ready because uh, we're going to try to get electric next week. Um, so if we get the electric going, PEX installed, man, it's coming together. It's awesome. I just want, I, I want to encourage y'all, uh, if y'all are wanting to do this, I've talked to a lot of people who are really interested in doing something like this. And uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't want anyone to think it's impossible because it's not. Because all things are possible with God. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing. I've never built anything, <laughs> and I'm and this is what we built. You know, I, I have no idea what I'm doing, but it's God. I mean, He can do anything. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I mean, I can do it all. You know, through Him. So it's not about me. I'm not trying to take credit. All right, I'm done talking. I don't have to listen anymore. So if, if you saw this, I'm sorry, uh, spoiled, maybe a spoiler on the house, but there will be some more videos. Uh, I've got a few videos of me uh, framing it out, and doing some other stuff, so uh, it's starting to rain, so I'm gonna get inside. Guys, I'll see you later. See you.